<laughs> and finally, new rule, I want to believe Representative Vance McAllister, the congressman who was caught on tape last year passionately kissing a staffer, when he says he's a new man and, quote, blessed with a great family and a wonderful Christian wife. But first he has to take his hand off her ass. <laughs> you know, we don't ask a lot here in America of our representatives, but last month Politico ran a story on the midterms entitled Good Election Year for the Bad Boys of Congress, which detailed how even scandal-plagued lowlifes are nonetheless cruising to re-election. I mean, look at this. His tongue is forming an exploratory committee. <laughs> That's not kissing, that's fracking. <laughs> and this guy ran on being a family values Christian. No wonder that when this story broke, he quit. Who could recover from hypocrisy that blatant? But now he's back in because he remembered something. Oh yeah, I live in America. No one's paying attention. <laughs> Same thing with the Appalachian Trail's most famous hiker. Former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford, another born-again booty caller, <laughs> who left office in disgrace, but who's back because he realized that in Kardashian America, name recognition is all that matters. Michael Grimm. Michael Grimm leads in the polls in his Staten Island district, despite being under indictment for 20 counts of fraud. That's a lot of fraud, even for Staten Island. <laughs> And then there's my favorite, Tennessee's Scott DeJarle, a pro-life champion who encouraged his ex-wife to have two abortions and talked one of his mistresses into having another. One more, he gets a free latte. <laughs> this guy walks into Planned Parenthood, everyone goes, Norm! <laughs> <laughs> He's a doctor who's also had affairs with at least two of his patients. Somewhere Anthony Weiner is thinking, but texting a picture of my dick was too much? <laughs> Usually when a doctor fucks his patients that much, it's over the bill. <laughs> and still he's looking forward to a third term, which is more than I could say for the fetuses he conceives. Oh, oh you'll get all the rich. <laughs> My <qu> <laughs> If he wasn't actually up for the third term, I wouldn't do the joke, but it was too perfect. <laughs> My question is, who do you have to blow to get thrown out of Congress? <laughs> As a political science experiment, I would like to see a member of Congress kill someone <laughs> on live TV just to see if they'd get voted out for it. <laughs> Really, let's have a congressman commit cold-blooded murder on camera, then get up and say, uh, yes, I've made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I killed a drifter just to arouse myself sexually, but... <laughs> this election isn't about killing drifters, it's about working families. <laughs> With my wife Jenny on one side and <coughs> Jesus on the other, and he'd win! <laughs> we need a new definition of insanity, and it's having a Congress with an 8% approval rating and re-electing just about all of them. Mm -hmm. Only 14% of voters say Congress has done anything to improve their lives. And yet reporters keep finding people who voted against Obamacare, but are on Obamacare and love it. <laughs> and why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they love it? They can finally breathe easy that a serious health problem won't bankrupt and or kill them. You'd think that would be the kind of thing people might want to reward with their vote. But you ask them, would you consider voting Democrat? Shit, no. I'm sticking with the pro-life doctor who impregnates lots of people who aren't his wife. Top that, Obamacare!